What's up, Yens, guys? Welcome back to Fishing PA with Ryan Reed. Well, it's officially 2019, and I'm super pumped about a new year because what a new year means for me is new opportunities and new possibilities when we talk about the sport of fishing. I am super excited about 2019 because that means we are in the 2019 outdoor show season. We got the Ohio Muskie Show next week. We got a couple of outdoor shows like the Allegheny Outdoor Show, the Harrisburg Outdoor Show, and the Muskie Max later here over winter. Also, I'm super pumped because we talk about fishing trips. Now, this year is going to be kind of special because this year I'm going to have the opportunity to get back to the Great White North with Dan and Fish Canada. We've committed to fishing Ontario and I'm super excited to do a fly out this year and really kind of do a Canadian vlog for you guys as well. Now with every year that passes, we as fishermen have a responsibility. And that responsibility is picking up our 2019 fishing license and also understanding the new regulations that are in place for that particular year, in this case, 2019. So what I thought I'd do is do a quick video and just talk about the 2019 PA fishing summary. So we have the book here. I wanna talk about some new regulations talk about some new changes that PA Boat and Fish has made for 2019. And really, that kind of helps me get in here, read all the information, understand the new regulations, and hopefully will help you guys take a look at this before you're ready to buy your fishing license, hopefully well before April, so that you guys can avoid those long lines the weekend or week before trout season starts in April. All right, boys and girls, the first change that I wanna talk about that PA Boat and Fish has made for 2019. Now, in years past, most of us go out and we buy our fishing license and we're used to getting our Pennsylvania Fishing Summary of Regulations handbook. These handbooks used to come free with a fishing license. However, in 2019, that's no longer the case. Now, if we take 2019's handbook and we zoom in here to the top left of the handbook or top right in your case, you guys are gonna see that this summary handbook now costs $3. So when you guys go out to Dick's or to Gander Mountain or to whatever venue you guys use to buy your fishing licenses, you will have to pay that $3 fee for a printed copy. Now, if you guys are buying your license online, there is an option on the online page for you to select this book in printed form, and they will send you a copy of the book through the mail. Now, why I believe this to be a good move for boat and fish. Number one, it gives them the ability to save some money. That you're no longer printing all of this stuff for free. If you guys want a printed copy, $3 is not bad. It's really not a bad price to pay for a printed copy of this book. And the reason for that has to do with number two, they're pushing their mobile app. PA Boat and Fish has an awesome mobile app which includes the summary of the fishing regulations and laws. So for those of you with an iPhone or an Android smartphone, you guys can go out to your app stores and download and install the app for free. So you guys can still get the regulations and laws for free. You can still look up the regulations and laws online with your computer for free. This is strictly for those of us that want the printed copy of the magazine. And again, me, as a technology major, I am super excited to use the mobile app. However, there are some things that I just like to have a printed copy for in my 2019 fishing summary of fishing regulations and rules handbook. Just happens to be one of those things that I like in printed form. All right, boys and girls, what's point number two? What is the second biggest change that I believe PA Boat and Fish made for 2019? Well, that change has to do with the new voluntary permits for 2019. Now these voluntary permits are designed to help maintain funding levels for several key fishing related programs. All revenue generated from the sale of these permits will be reinvested into the habitat, waterway conservation of the muskie, wild trout, or big bass programs. So really one thing to say here is these permits are not meant for you guys to purchase these to fish for those particular species of fish. It's not about that. 
It's about buying your permit to basically donate that money as a voluntary purpose to that species of fish and for the habitat for that species of fish. So this money is gonna go help the stocking program and the, really the protection of that species so that that species can continue to grow here in the state of Pennsylvania. Now me, as a musky angler, I am super pumped about this because as you guys can see there, I got my 2019 voluntary musky permit. And my $11 is gonna go straight to the musky and the conservation of the musky right here in the state of Pennsylvania. And I really like that. And I really have to just say, hey, great job, PA Boat and Fish. Thank you for giving us a voice and giving us this opportunity to voluntarily purchase a permit to go to the conservation of a species of our choice. Now, one last thing I wanna get into prior to talking about changes in regulations. I wanna talk about the 2019 fishing license prices. Now, the prices to this point have not gone up. A resident annual license is $22.90. And as you guys can see here, the Lake Erie permit and the trout stamps are the same price as they were last year. Now, the same applies for the multi-year fishing licenses. All of these prices have stayed the same between 2018 and 2019 to this point. However, in the last few years, a legislative bill has kind of threatened the overall cost of our fishing licenses. Now, I've heard that potentially that bill was stopped and it will not affect the license price for 2019. So a word of caution for you guys, at least to this point, without me fully understanding what's going to happen, I would recommend getting your 2019 fishing license as early as possible to avoid any rate increases for the overall cost of the license. All right, guys, let's spend a few minutes talking about some of the changes that Fish and Boat has made to the fishing regulations for 2019. Now, for the Susquehanna and the Juanita Rivers, from January 1st to December 31st, there is no harvest allowed for the species of largemouth and smallmouth bass moving forward. So you guys are gonna have a catch and immediate release on the Juanita and Susquehanna Rivers for those two species of bass for 2019. All right, guys, another change that Fish and Boat has made for 2019 in regards to the Panfish Enhancement Special Regulations. Now, in your handbook here, there's a section that talk about the Panfish Enhancement Special Regulations. Now, you guys will see here in this particular table that in Mercer County on the Shenango River Lake that the minimum size of crappie has changed to nine inches. So what this regulation actually does is it increases the number, the quality, and the size of the panfish in these particular bodies of water throughout the state of Pennsylvania. All right, guys, another item that I wanna talk about. Now, us as anglers, it's important that we understand the regulations for our bodies of water that we fish. Now, some bodies of water here in the state of Pennsylvania are actually special regulation areas. And a special regulation area can be anything from a body of water that's catch and release only with artificial baits or a body of water that's fly fishing only or a body of water that's catch and release only period, regardless of the bait that you're using. So the handbook here actually gives us a lot of information about bodies of water that are added to these types of lists in these types of special regulation areas. So think about that when you guys are out there fishing those areas, it's important for us to understand and look through this, locate our specific area or region that we live in and check for changes on those bodies of water that we're fishing so that we can understand the regulations before we get out there this spring. All right guys, another item that caught my eye in 2019. Now I've seen this in regulation booklets in the past. However, again, for some reason, I just found this really interesting. So I'm gonna show you guys a snippet of a table. And what we're talking about here is the 2019 Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Fish Consumption Advisories pages. Now this particular chart or this snippet is gonna show you every body of water, an area under the advisory of a specific species based on a specific meal frequency and a specific contaminant that could affect you as a human being. So bottom line here, this section talks about health benefits of eating fish 
It talks about contaminants in fish. It talks about how to use this advisory. So it's very interesting information that again, Fish and Boat has made available to us as fishermen that really will help you guys understand how much of a specific species of fish you can eat out of a specific body of water and really be contaminant free. Now, this is critically important for you guys as fishermen of the state of Pennsylvania. There's a tremendous amount of information that you are really required to not only read, but to understand. And if you're a conservationist like me, you wanna focus on this in case you run into something in this manual that you really should be reporting as a fisherman. And an example of that is this. So one of the articles in this particular issue of 2019 talks about two native species of giant salamanders. So as you guys can see there, now if you guys run into the common mud puppy or the Eastern hellbender, it's important for you guys to take pictures of them and read this information and send those pictures to the correct people so that they can take action. Now, as we go through this, we're not only talking about general fishing regulations, we're talking about regulations for tackle and equipment. We're talking about information on all species of fish in the state of Pennsylvania. So we have krill limits and we have important regulations and we have different regulations for different bodies of water like Pima Tuming and the Delaware River and Estuary. So again, it's important for you guys to read through this so you understand what bodies of water you're fishing and what regulations apply. Also, there's some really awesome information in here like on brood stock lakes in that particular program. And they talk about the enhancement programs. And really they cover reptiles and amphibians and seasons and limits and all of the miscellaneous special regulations to creatures like reptiles and amphibians. They give you really good information on aquatic invasive species like we had talked about with the salamander. This information right here shouldn't be overlooked because you guys never know when you're gonna run into an invasive species in a lake that shouldn't be there. You know, if you guys see a rusty crayfish and it's in a lake that is next to your house, it would be worth reporting it to Fish and Boat so that they can get somebody out there to take a look at it. So again, this information is really beneficial and it's gonna help you as an angler. Also, there are regulations in here like the life jacket regulation. You know, how many people actually pay attention to wearing a life jacket between November 1st and April 30th? I can tell you a lot of people hate wearing life jackets, especially on the first day of trout out at Twin Lakes, but it's for your safety as an angler, so it's in the manual. You know, these rules and regulations, a lot of people complain about fish and boat and they complain about the regulations. Well, you know, these regulations are in place not only for the conservation of the fish here in the state of Pennsylvania, but they're really in place for our safety as fishermen. So bottom line, boys and girls, is when you guys go to get your 2019 fishing license, take a look at getting this book or downloading the app, really take some time to read through the regulations, read through and understand regulations on your bodies of water that you guys fish. And really, this is gonna help you guys stay legal, stay safe, and really contribute to you guys being a better fisherman in 2019 right here in our good old state of Pennsylvania. All right, boys and girls, thanks for hanging in there with my voice. I'm battling a cold. However, I got my 2019 fishing license. I got my 2019 regulations manual and I understand everything. I'm still a member of Muskie's Inc. And I'm planning to renew at Muskie Max in March. So I'm super pumped about that. So looking forward to a really awesome 2019. And I wish everybody a really solid opportunity to get new personal best and create new memories in 2019. So if you guys liked this video, go and hit that like button for me. If you guys like the content overall, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. So for now, I wish everybody tight lines and we'll see you guys next time.